ready? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup is... Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Trying to establish that jab once again. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. What a body kick. Beautiful strike. Big head kick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Try to establish that jab. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Lee gets caught with that punch. Ooh wee, Ooh -wee what a right hand by this young man. He is all about that left kick to the body. Throws the right hand there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He missed with that jab attempt there. Straight right is there. Blocks that kick to the body. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Missed with that right hand. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Just misses with the jab. Oh, nice straight left there. He has a commitment to pick tonight, and it shows. Leg kick. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had nothing. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Man, he keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Certainly buckled him earlier in the fight. He knows he's... Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Whoa! Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? Yeah. 
big punch lands through the middle. done by Lee. Just unable to quite find that range. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Dig and kick. Just misses there with the left. How good is that right hand? Spinning back fist is there. Just out of the range with that right hand. 20 seconds to go round two. Good stick. Final seconds. All right, round three coming up next. So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Just misses with the kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Cable of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he landed the right hand there. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just misses with the jab there. Nice straight punch. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like... That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Keep going in. Do it again. Nice leg kick lands. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Effective punch there by Lee. Huge block there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. And he lands that side kick.
That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Lee's kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Nice, sneaky head kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Right at the end of the body. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. What a tricky head kick. Just missed with the left there. Nice lucid punch. Moves inside and is able to land the flying knee. And I guess, DC, only in your dreams do you have this. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Great punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Wow! Fifteen seconds remain in the round. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Liver kick. Ooh, big shot lands. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. I mean, that right hand landed square. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times in the face. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. 
continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh! Dude's hurt. Third him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. What a punch. Keeps going back to that. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything.